We are in the middle of the dog days of summer right now here in Korea, but for farmers, it's never too early to begin thinking about Korea's harsh winter months and protecting their crops. To that end, a new type of heating system is catching on, and for good reasons, as our Paul Yi reports. This is a 6,000 square meter vinyl greenhouse in Gyeonggi-do province that cultivates tomatoes. Heating it over past winter months would have cost the owner as much as 30,000 U.S. dollars. This past winter, it cost him just 3,000 dollars. Now I only spend one-tenth of what I used to pay when I used the fuel-operated fan heater. It is a lot economical and profitable since it also reduces the harvest time by a month. What's E's secret? He's using a newly developed heater called a carbon heating net that is buried underground in furrows between rows of tomato plants. It's placed 50 centimeters deep in the soil, and when connected to electricity, the ideal temperature for the roots of the plants is maintained. The system also promotes the growth of crops, increasing production while reducing the time needed for harvest. This carbon heating net is made with carbon and silicon in the form of a net and can adjust the temperature automatically to provide better insulation and save power. A local institute tested its efficiency, and experts view it as a promising development. Because it raises the temperature of the roots, the growth period of crops in the early stages can be reduced by two weeks. With high oil prices in the country, many farmers hope this low-energy device will take some of the sting out of Korea's harsh winter months. Paul Yi, Arirang News.